you are transporting the audience to a different place. Okay, can we just try from the second time through, from the second chorus? When you play jazz, you're in the moment. You've got to be spontaneous. Dig deep within your soul, reimagine yourself. So, so this is the very end. Yeah. I've always felt that if there's one art form that has brought people together, it would have to be jazz. I'm Melvin Peters. I'm a professional jazz musician based in the city of Durban. I started taking piano lessons at the age of six. This piano was the first piano that I'd played on because I don't get to play it very often. It's a little bit out of tune, but on a more happening note for jazz, it seems to lend itself, given that honky-tonk feel. This particular note is what I'd call quite uh, suspect. It's really a, a trip down memory lane um, because over the years I've forgotten how much I've done and how many groups I've played in, how many venues I've played in. Each of those bands brought in a very different dimension to my playing. My teacher was Darius Brubeck and there's a lovely picture of him. What is important is having uh, a good teacher. And, and he was a very good teacher. I've always said that jazz is a music which has always been part of the struggle. The pre-94 period, in the height of apartheid. Back then, um, the audiences kind of realized that there was something going on here. I wanted people to come together Jazz was crucial in that. Ah, yes. Werner Hooks. Ah, George Shearing. This has got to be probably one of my favorite albums. Oscar Peterson. He was someone who, who had this ability to swing really hard. I was able to connect with his playing um, very deeply. There's quite a few threads that go through the history of jazz. These piano players were a part of the history. They not only contributed to the history of jazz, but they also made the history. As a performer, I think the magic comes when you literally perhaps just let go of yourself and allow your imagination to take over. They have by stark contrast been other times when I've decided to play very cautiously for whatever reason, maybe the level of difficulty. And so you tend to be a little on edge when you are playing. And after those concerts, I remember thinking to myself, if only I let myself go. I have a special focus and passion for jazz. However, I'm also a church organist as well. traditionally used to lead the, the singing. 
so it's got to have a fair amount of volume which uh, this one does have most um, beautiful sound. There is a point at every performance when I, I just allow my imagination to take over. Apart from transporting yourself and your fellow musicians, you are also transporting the audience to a different place. Happy birthday, dear Melbourne. Happy birthday to you. One of the things I love about jazz, perhaps more than any other genre, is that there are no rules. Come together and experience just a little bit of magic. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, then please subscribe so I can keep on making more. And if you really liked it, then uh, go check out my Patreon page where you can see behind the scenes content and an exclusive interview with Melvin Peters on how he survived lockdown. I'll see you in the next video.